And we're here with Mark Allen at the Bet Victor Scottish Open. Mark, you came so close last week in York, but you've got the trophy this week. How good does that feel? Yeah, great. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a tough final. It was got a spell in the middle part where Sean dominated and he's putting some great long balls. I didn't feel part of the match at all and got a great chance at six all and I'd just been froze out for three and a half frames and I missed probably the easiest clearance you'll ever see. Yeah. And uh, seven six behind. So, suddenly I just felt really calm and uh, started to score, I put a good long red and made 66, then I made 134 and all of a sudden you know, back in the groove and you know, finished the match well, albeit with a very nice look. Yeah, I mean you were 6 up at one point and then he wins three frames on the spin to make it 6-6 six, six just before the interval. You have a couple of magnets in the interval too? No, not this time to be honest, it was the complete polar opposite. <laughs> uh, I just walked around the players' lounge with my daughter and held her hand and she wanted to take me runs. So, to be honest, that really, really settled me. Just a couple of 15 minutes just chilling out with the family and puts things into perspective. It's only a snooker match at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong, I would doubt after the interval want to win really bad, but no, that's what's really important. Yeah, it took away some of the uh, nerves and just can't It did, because I was feeling it. I felt really nervous the first frame, even though I won it. And then obviously didn't get a shot for three frames and then back out after the interval and got a chance and blew it. And, you can't help but think negative, but I actually felt okay. I uh, felt quite calm just because I'd seen my family and stuff at the interval. I felt much more relaxed going out there at 6 all and you know, produced some good snooker towards the end. Yeah, I mean, you both played fantastic, but it seemed in that final frame the luck was with you, especially with that, that pink that dropped in after oh, he yeah. was to miss. Yeah, well, he missed, he potted another. Uh, he was a good wrong, wrong red, I think, to get in, and he was on 29, and he tried to just nip a black in, which is, you know, they're the type of shots with uh, you can't miss Q. And, he didn't leave anything, but I got in the upper hand then with safety, created a good opportunity for myself, and got in a position where I created a perfect chance to win the match, and you know, twitched the pink in the middle, the uh, match ball really in my head, because I knew I would pot the red after it, and absolutely blessed to see it going in the green pocket, and uh, yeah, it's I've been on the wrong end of that sort of luck before, so it's nice to get it whenever it really counts, but it's not nice, especially with it being against Sean, who's one of my best mates, not the way I wanted to win. So your last four ranking tournaments, that's two wins and a, and a runner-up, I mean... And a first round. Where was that? Belfast? Uh, yeah. <laughs> strange that. Um, there's still one to elude you, that's, that's the world title. With the form that you're in, are you looking ahead to that and thinking maybe this could be the year? Possibly. I, I think I'm getting more consistent. I think my bad games aren't anywhere near as bad anymore. Uh, you don't ever have to practice your A game, it's just there when it's there. Uh, you always practice your B game and I think I've got it a little bit better in recent years. So I know I've got the game to win at Sheffield, but it's up to me to go there and prove it. No, it's nice winning this tournament and nice you know, winning the international, but the words is one everyone wants. Yeah. Um, before the Worlds, obviously, come up pretty fast to be the Masters defending champion. You're going to go there with a lot of confidence to try and win that back-to-back? -back? Yeah, yeah, I am, because obviously I've been on a good run, so I want to continue that run, whether it be the Masters or any other tournament. Uh, good memories from last year, and obviously playing Luca in the first round again, same as last year, so lots of good memories to look back on, but it's up to me to go home and keep working hard. And I'm going to take a few days off, put the queue away, enjoy Christmas, and then work really, really hard before the Masters and hopefully continue the good run. Brilliant performance this week, Mark. Congratulations Thank on the you. win. Thanks Cheers, very much. Mate.